Hi, my name is Momo with Fast PPT, and welcome to another YouTube PowerPoint tutorial session. We're super excited to have you. And if you enjoy these tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe and give us your comments to let us know what you think. And in this tutorial, we have a super exciting session lined up. Here, we're gonna teach you how to make animated slides in PowerPoint. So these animation slides get so much attention on our Instagram and our TikTok. So we really wanted to bring this to YouTube and dive into a step-by-step -step tutorial today. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways to achieve this effect. Let's get right into it and get started with the first method. So first, we're gonna insert a rectangle and we're gonna make some copies. Now in my case, I have five points. So I'm gonna be making four copies. We're gonna right click on the rectangle and then we're gonna open format shape. We're gonna fill each shape with a different color and then remove the outline. I'm gonna use different shades of blue and green to make sure to differentiate each point. Now we're gonna add a text box and we're gonna type the number 01. Choose a bold font and then we're gonna change the font size to 80. If it's not big enough, then we can do a font size of 115, no problem. Then we're gonna change the text color to white for better visibility. And we're gonna add more details to this column and then adjust the text however we like. We're gonna duplicate these text boxes and then we're gonna place them on the remaining columns. And then you can always use Control D or Command D to duplicate as well. Now change each number and adjust the position. Let's change the third column to another color to make it more clear. This gray color here looks amazing. Now we're gonna group each column and then we're gonna hold our mouse and move select all elements. We're gonna right click and then click group. So after all columns are finished, we're gonna select all groups. Go to the animations tab here, choose fly in, change the effect options to from left, set the start to with previous and set the duration to just two seconds here. Open the animations pane and then we're gonna find the effect options and then we're gonna click bounce end. That's it, so that's our first method. Now let's use another method. So with the morph transition, we can achieve a very similar effect. You have to have the morph transition to try this method, and if you do, we're gonna get right into it. Start by inserting a rectangle, then we're gonna add a triangle on the side of the rectangle, and then we're gonna rotate the triangle 90 degrees to the right. We're gonna hold Control or Command, we're gonna select both shapes. We're gonna to go to shape format and then choose union. Duplicate the shape four times and then fill each shape with a different color. I will use these five different blue colors. Select all shapes. We're gonna right click to open format shape. We're gonna click effects. We're gonna add a shadow to all shapes and we're gonna adjust the transparency and size. Now we're gonna add details to each column, including the serial numbers. Select all elements of each column and group them. After finishing all groups, bring them to the front, duplicate the slide, and then we're gonna move the columns to the left and then hide the last four columns behind the first one. Then we're gonna reorder the slides and make the second slide first. Now right click on the slide and change the background to a gradient. Copy the text boxes and then paste them onto slide two. We're gonna move them off the slide as well. We're gonna add the morph transition to the second slide and voila, we are done. You can use either of these methods and either of these techniques in your presentations. And please don't forget to like, share them, and then subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting more step-by-step -step tutorials like this one, and I will see you in our next video.